So in team provisioning, this is the, the uh, this slide shows the concept of the team provisioning. Uh, and if you look at the right hand side, uh, and this is, uh, happens to be in IT plan environment, uh, which uh, that's our primary uh, product. So if you look on the right hand side, uh, if you have an IT plan and you have a physical uh, storage space of, for example, 10 terabytes, each one of these cylinders, of, uh, I'm assuming that uh, they are 1 terabyte. So you have 10 terabytes of physical space. If by using the team provisioning feature, you can actually create much larger than your physical space. You can create multiple volumes. Like, for example, in this case, and I've created three volumes of each one of them to be 10 terabytes. And each server, I've given them 10 terabytes of uh, storage. So if the server logs into the storage and uh, to that volume, he thinks that he only has 10, 10 uh, he, he thinks that he has 10 terabytes. Uh, and every one of these, they think that they have 10 terabytes. So what happens is when they start using the storage, the physical uh, the data still needs to reside in a physical storage. But so the way it would happen is like the top one would have used two terabytes and it would go out of there to the physical space up, up here. This one three terabytes goes there and one terabyte goes there. They all think that they have ten terabytes, but they really uh, have uh, I and mean, they only use as much as they need. So what it does is it prevents from uh, waste of the space, basically. Uh, so uh, let's get into some, uh, again, the reasons is um, the reason for the uh, team provisioning or what the, the concept of the team provisioning is, is the over allocation to the servers that they can see more storage than the physical available space is. And the space will be allocated as just enough as in just in time. So when they start using that storage, that stuff or data will get into the physical space. And that's mainly the, the primary reason for that is a lot of times the customers or the, um, uh, the servers or uh, they are using the storage, they don't know how much they need. Everybody, like if you're uh, running a data center and you have several departments, engineering is going to come and say, I need 5 terabytes. And then the other guy will say, oh, I need 10 terabytes. But the, the, the guy who says 10 terabytes he might only use 2 terabytes in his next two years. So uh, it's it's always a great, I mean, it's very hard for the people to predict how much they need. So they, uh, users tend to ask for a lot more. This allows them to ask for a lot more, and we give them a lot more, but they only use what they really use. Um, it does have some drawbacks, but, which I will get into it, but uh, uh, it eliminates the waste of the space and poor utilization of the storage, basically. And uh, it allows the flexibility that you can grow your storage when you need to. The way uh, Stonefly uh, has implemented team provisioning is, so if you look at the same picture that I showed, if you have like a 10 terabyte of a physical storage space, we create a team pool. For example, in this case, we create a team pool of 5 terabytes. And from that pin pool of 5 terabytes, we create all those, uh, the three 10 terabyte volumes. You always need to have, uh, have a thin pool that the thin volume goes below that. So that's how uh, we implement the thin provision. So what you lose with the thin provisioning, um, these are, uh, I mean, these are the facts that exist with any team provisioning implementation. It's not as specific to Stonefly team provisioning. Uh, it's always you're going to lose a little bit of the performance. 
it's just it's obvious. I mean, you're basically um, moving the blocks. Uh, I mean, there is a pointer that um, moves the blocks. So there is a one. You are adding a one layer of the software uh, when you're using the thin provision. So generally, thin volumes have a little bit of a less performance than uh, regular volumes. Uh, I can't put the exact number because it all depends on the block size, type of application, and all of that. Uh, you, all, you also run the risk of running out of storage. Um, if you've allocated uh, 30 terabytes and you only have 10 terabytes, um, I mean, there will be a point if people start using their storage uh, a lot, then you're going to run out of storage. We do have a lot of warning uh, that uh, you can set up the threshold and basically just uh, uh, we will tell you that you're uh, close to your uh, storage limit. This is the time to expand and all of that. We do have all of those, but if people don't, do not uh, pay attention to the warnings, they're gonna, you're going to run out of the storage. 